Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. As you can tell, it is going to be a continuation of my makeup collection today. Now, as you can tell, this is very messy. This is the next shelf down from the ones that we have already done in my bathroom. So, we are going to go ahead and get started. I've got, kind of just to give you an overview of what we're going to be looking at today, I have some newer things I've kind of thrown on top here. I do have like some of my extra blushes and stuff like that. I've got some mascaras and things in this little container here. But the majority of what is going to be on this shelf is lipsticks. So if you are interested in that, then just stay tuned. All right, we are going to go ahead and get right in. This I honestly got for my daughter for her birthday and I forgot to give it to her. So she will be getting this as soon as she gets home from school today. This is from the Wet n Wild Care Bears collection and this is the color changing sponge. Now from what I've seen this doesn't really change colors but this is just a huge sponge which she does not have in her collection thus far. So I figured this would be fun for her and it's really cute. She loves sponges like that. Okay, now a review that I'm going to be having coming is from Makeup Revolution, and that's from The Simpsons, like the summer collection that just released. So I got a highlighter, and then I got the cream bronzer, as well as the cream blush. I love the packaging of these. There also was a setting spray that I almost picked up. They did have two eyeshadow palettes as well, but I skipped on those. So these are the pieces I got from that collection, and... That will be coming at some point relatively soon on my channel. Now, from ColourPop and the Powerpuff Girls, I still have these in the box. I love this collection. I think it is so cute. So, I got one of the blushes. This is the Saving the World blush. And then this is the Powerpuff Girls um, eyeshadow palette here. You guys will have to let me know if you're still interested in this. I I still may do a video on it just because I do have it. I know there are a lot of others out there that have this palette as well. So I may, you know, try to do like a fun summer look with that. Now here are some items that I have reviewed recently on my channel. So this is the Tarte little cream blush and I do love this blush so much. I think it is adorable. Here is what it looks like here. There is a little mirror in there. This is from the Tarte like Sugar Rush collection or whatever. And this is the shade Ocean Girl. I just think it's so fun and so pretty. Tarte really does it for me with the packaging. Then we have a Jouer highlighter here. Oh no, this isn't a highlighter. This is a setting powder. This is their Radiant Translucent Powder. And here is what this looks like. I do have a video up on my channel using this, but it is such sweet packaging, right? All right, I'm going to have to see if I can rearrange this camera a little bit because right now, um, it's very hard for me to kind of like reach in here and show you stuff. I think that will be a little bit better and you can still, you know, kind of see everything in here. So next up is from Fenty and this is the Hustla Baby Highlighter. This is a gorgeous highlighter here. This is also really pretty on the eyes as well. Then from Too Faced, this is from their holiday collection for 2021. This is their Hot Cocoa Limited Edition Bronzer. And I originally got this for my daughter and I loved it so much that I had to pick it up for me as well. Um, it's really good and like more geared towards light skin tones just because you do have this light shade in there and that does not go away. That is a powder throughout this whole product. So it is just a lighter bronzer in general, but it smells really good. It's super adorable, and I absolutely love it. All right, next up are some products that I picked up in the Sephora VIB sale. So I got the One Size Turn Up the Base. This is their new BB cream, and I have been really impressed with One Size Beauty, so I really wanted to try this. I have got mine in the shade Fair 2 
R, which is fair with rosy undertones. I really like applying base products with my fingers in general. I think it just helps for the most seamless blend. And it's also really fast and that is how this is recommended to put on. So I thought that this would be interesting. Also restocked my One Size Beauty concealer. This is the Turn Up The Base Butter Silk Concealer. If you watched any of my recent videos here, you would have seen this. Um, I have mine in the shade Light 1R, which is the same shade that I had last time. This is a really good match for me. And yeah, this is a fantastic concealer. It's very lightweight and thin, but it has amazing coverage. All right, I'm going to go ahead and kind of run through what I have in this little container here. A lot of these are like stocked items um, that I have not used that are completely unopened. So first off is this little limited edition Better Than Sex Mascara. This is from Crispy. I honestly don't know who that is, but I love this packaging. I've told you guys before, I am such a space nerd. So when I saw this, I was like, hell yes, I'm getting that. And of course, the Better Than Sex Mascara is one of my favorites um it's one of those classics that i think just in general will always be popular also in here this is from ole hendrickson this is the banana bright face primer and i need to take that out and use that from fenty beauty this is some of those invisimat blotting papers but if you haven't seen it this is what it looks like here so you've got a little container, you can open it up and you can pull out your blotting paper as much or as little as you want, close it, tear it off, and you're good to go. Um, I really like how compact this is and I have had my prior one for like over a year and it's still going. Now I really only need to use this like in the summertime, you know, when it's really hot outside just because I am pretty dry in general. But yeah, this has lasted me a long time and I do have a backup. This is the Magic Extension uh, Fiber Mascara, and in general, I have really got along well with MAC mascaras, so I was happy to try this one out. Um, eventually, I will get to it. All right, I have the Fenty Beauty. This is the Full Frontal Volume Lift and Curl Mascara. Honestly, I've got a little sample of this before and I was not that happy with it. I got this in like a BoxyCharm. I may end up giving this away at some point just because this is not my favorite mascara. One that I do love and I think does an excellent job at curling your lashes is the Benefit Roller Lash. It's also a beautiful packaging. This is what it looks like here. I just think it is so pretty from milk makeup this is the kush mascara i have tried this one before it is really good i do really enjoy this mascara so i'm happy that i have a full size and again i think i got this out of a boxy charm okay one that i got as actually a free gift from ulta this is the Lorac pro fiber mascara um i think i actually have received two of these from um ulta as free gifts in the past. I've gifted one of them. I still have this one. Um, I may end up giving this one away at some point, but yeah. All right, from Tarte, this is the Big Ego Mascara. Um, normally, I really love Tarte mascaras, but with this one, I don't know. I just, I was not that big of a fan of this one. I got a sample size and yeah, it just was not it for me. All right, I have the Kush Mascara also in the waterproof version here. These things I may end up giving to my daughter. She really likes these. This is the Lashes MD. So this is just supposed to help your eyelashes grow and condition them. I have this one. And then I also have this Dermalect. This is the Extra Large Lash Volumizer. I think that this is a primer. Oh, no, this is just a conditioner as well. And it says that this can also be used on your eyebrows. So I may actually keep this one and try to use this on my eyebrows. All right, similar to those, this is the Babe Lash Essential Serum. So this is another lash conditioning serum. Then from MAC, this is the Extended Giga Black Lash. 
This is really good for your lower lashes, and that is what I got this for. So, all right, from Kevin Aquan, this is the Expert Mascara. I have never tried this. Um, so, yeah, I'll have to try it out one day and let you guys know. From It Cosmetics, this is the Superhero Mascara. I will say this product dries out very quickly, but this is one of the best mascaras I've ever tried. This is a really, really good one. The only con, like I said, is that it just, it dries out very quickly. I think you could probably get as much use out of a little mini size as you could as a full size. All right, and then last in here, this is from Thrive Cosmetics. This is the Liquid Lash Extensions Mascara. This is a tubing mascara. Honestly, I'm not that big of a fan of tubing mascaras. I know that some people love them. They are just, I don't know. I don't like the process of taking them off. Um, it kind of creeps me out. I don't like feeling like I'm pulling my eyelashes out. But um, yeah, this is a really good one. From what I have seen, other reviews, like it looks amazing. But I've tried tubing mascaras in the past and they honestly just kind of freak me out. Next up, I have a backup of my Flower Beauty Light Illusion Perfecting Powder. This is in the shade um, Beige, <laughs> and I really, really love this powder. It reminds me of the Charlotte Tilbury setting powder, and yeah, I am such a fan. All right, one that I have never tried. This is from Makeup Revolution. This is the Luxury Baking Powder in the Banana Shade. I got this as a free gift. And honestly, with the packaging, it's just not that convenient. Like, you have to obviously pour this out. And, I mean, this is your lid. So, um, that's the reason I have not used this. It's not that I think this would be a bad product. This would actually probably be a very brightening powder. Um... But yeah, I'll have to try this out and test it. I know it's um, similar to like the, is it Ben Nye? I think is what it's called. Um, it looks very similar to that. All right, some more products that I have just on backup. This is the Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade in the shade Medium Brown. I have been using this in my brows every day. This was on sale at Ulta recently and I did pick up a backup from MAC. I love MAC blushes. If you guys have seen my prior uh, collection videos, I have a ton of MAC blushes and I just think they are so freaking good. Let me see what color this is. This is the shade Harmony. It's just a very neutral shade that I did not have in my collection. It's like a pinky brownish nude and um, yeah, it was completely up my alley. So I picked that up. All right, from Viseart, Viseart, however you say it, this is a bronzer from them. I got this on sale um, at one of the BoxyCharm drop shop sales, and this was really cheap. So um, I figured I would try it out because I've never tried one of their bronzers before. And I accidentally pulled the cover off of the mirror. But yeah, there you go. Next up is from the Hello Kitty collection. This is the Aloha Honey Blush, and I got this to try out in a video. I also picked up these two blushes to try out in a video coming. This is the Jelly Dough Blusher from Holika Holika. Um, this is like a Asian beauty brand, and these just look super interesting to me. They're in also a different language on the back, but they do have the English name. So this is Strawberry Jelly and Apricot Jelly. And I just thought that these were very interesting. So I'm going to test these out. Also from a limited edition MAC collection, this is the shade Royal Flush. Um, I forget what collection this was from, but... Uh, here is the packaging here. I just thought it was so freaking beautiful. I do, I believe, already have one blush from here, but I just thought that this was such a pretty, like, plum-colored blush. Now, I did go ahead and pick up another um, Bobbi Brown blush. This is the shade Pale Pink. So, now I've got 
the full range that Ulta offers anyway for the Bobbi Brown blushes. And I absolutely love this formula. It's so dewy. It's so easy to use. It lasts all day. This um, quite possibly could be one of my favorite, if not my favorite, cream blush formulas. All right, I got this from a BoxyCharm. This is Glam Glamnetic Lashes. Again, I do not really use lashes in general. So, um, yeah, I have not gotten any use out of these yet. Maybe eventually I will. I may give them away. Um, but these are in the Virgo style. Yeah, two more blushes that I got to try out in a video. These are from M Cosmetics. And these are Color Drop Serum Blushes. So I have this, I was trying to get them out so I could show you. You'll just have to stay tuned for a future video. But they look like a little nail polish bottle. They're so pretty and um, I've heard really good things about them. Also to try out in a video, this is two of the Putty Blushes from e.l.f. So I've got Turks and Caicos and Tahiti. And I just thought that these colors were absolutely beautiful. And I wanted to see how good Elf's uh, cream blush formula is. Now, as I mentioned, I am a dry girl. And I have seen really good reviews about this foundation. And it's also super affordable. So this is the NYX Born to Glow. And it just seemed right up my alley. I have got mine in the shade Light. And eventually I will be doing a video with this just to really test it out and see how that works. Now this is just a little sample that I got. This is the ColourPop Pretty Fresh Hydrating Foundation. This is in the shade Light. I have not tried that yet. From Zoeva, this was on sale at Ulta and I have got mine in the shade 80W Brilliant. This is the Authentic Skin Natural Luminous Foundation. And again, it just sounded good for dry skin. Um, so I will, you know, have to test this out and let you guys know. All right, this is a little sample that I got. This is Lancome Tint Idol in the shade 220 Buff, which is a cool tone shade. I have had a full size of this foundation. It is such high coverage. It is a beautiful, beautiful foundation. If you're looking for high coverage, that lasts all day. That is definitely one of the tippy top formulas that I have ever found. All right, from Pure, this is a four in one sculpting concealer. This is just a little sample. This is in shade LN6, I believe it is. But yeah, I have not tried this out. From Tarte, this is a clay pot, Amazonian clay waterproof liner. And I've got mine in the shade Rose Gold. I got this from a subscription box and I guess you could use this, you know, as an eyeshadow as well. I just don't really see using that as a liner, to be honest with you. That's not like a liner type of a shade for me. All right, this is from About Face. I love this packaging so much and this bronzy shade is actually very flattering on the lips. This is in the shade Peyton. And what's interesting about this gloss is it's got like a lavender scent. So it's kind of like lavender, lemony type of a scent. And it's very unique. I don't think I have seen any other lip glosses on the market with that particular scent. So you're either going to love it or you're going to hate it. All right, from Bobbi Brown, I just, when I did that full face of Bobbi Brown, it really got me on the Bobbi Brown kick. Um, I think she makes some fantastic products. This is her crushed lip color, and this is in the shade Brownie. Beautiful, just everyday shade. All right, also from Bobbi Brown, I picked up another crushed liquid lip because when I put the one that I purchased on, that color on my lips literally lasted like all day long. Um, I got this one in the shade Hippie Shake. As you can tell, it is just a cool tone pink. All right, next up, I purchased from the um, Kylie and Kendall collection. This is like the second one, I think, that Kylie has done in collaboration with Kendall. 
Um, I picked up the blush and highlighter cheek quad. I also have the lips, not the lipstick, the lip gloss from this collection on the way. And then I will do a video. Those are really the only two things that stuck out to me. I like the lip crayons that are in this collection as well. Um, but I just obviously like I have so many lip products. Um, I did not feel like picking up three more, even though they were gorgeous everyday shades. All right, I recently did a video with this. This is the Leora and Ofra collection. Um, I will have that link down below in case you're interested. But yeah, this is a fantastic palette. I absolutely love the highlighter that is in this palette. I think it is absolutely gorgeous. And I cannot wait to use this like taupey silver shade. I think that is beautiful as well. All right, guys, I told you guys I was interested in this um, when I did the full face of Danessa Merix. So when Sephora had their VIB sale, I did go ahead and pick up the Lightwork Volume 1 highlighter palette. So I will have this coming in an upcoming video. This was one of my first palettes that I ever got once I started getting back into makeup after having my daughter. This is the Coastal Scents Revealed Smoky Palette. And I actually use this a ton. This shade right here, I would specifically use this palette for this shade. Um, I would go in here and do my brows with this. So I actually use this all the time. I hit major pan in here, obviously. And yeah, it really does work good. Um, but that's kind of all I used it for. Back here, <laughs> I do have some more fragrances. I told you guys I love getting fragrances. So specifically, I love like these little bottles like this. This is the K Alley Vanilla 28. I freaking love this scent. Um, I've also got Clean Aqua Neroli. I really don't like that one. Um, but this is Good Girl by Carolina Herrera. Just all kinds of really beautiful scents in here. And then I have, of course, some more little mini bottles in here as well. Another like little Good Girl mini bottle. I just love collecting little mini bottles of everything. They really will last you forever and fragrances are just so expensive. So I'm going to run through the few lip products that I do have in here. So I'm going to start off with these because I really do not like these. These are from Sol de Janeiro and these are their little lip balms. I have got soulmate also have teeny bikini and my gripe with these is that i do not think the formula in these was mixed well enough like if you can tell it just kind of looks like chunky and um that was like right time i got it so not a fan of these i also don't really like the scent of these either now from hip dot this is from Kesha Rose, and I thought this was a gorgeous lipstick color. This is a really, really pretty red. From MAC, this was actually like a free gift. Um, I have not used this one yet, but this is No Interruptions Versicolor Varnish. So yeah, I have not used this one. It's one of the few MAC lip products I have not used. From Illamasqua, this is the shade Midnight. I got this in a boxy charm, and yeah, I really wish they would give you more like everyday shades, you know. This is one of my favorites. This is from L'Oreal, and this is in the shade Glossy Fawn. This is a stunning neutral nude lip color. So freaking pretty. All right, this is from ColourPop. This is that little Hocus Pocus spider stamp um, with the newer Hocus Pocus collection from Zoeva. This is a liquid lipstick in clear message. From Maybelline, these are so freaking good. If you're looking for a fantastic matte liquid lipstick from the drugstore. Maybelline Superstay is so good. This one 
is in the shade Loyalist. They have got a ton of these shades now. All right, from Tristique, this again, this is from like BoxyCharm or something. It looks like a pencil, right? But that's actually the lid. And then here is your actual product there. This is just not like everyday color for me. This is in English Rose and yeah, I just, I have not used it, honestly. Now from Buxom, I love these little limp pencils from Buxom. So it's like a fat pencil up top that you can fill your whole lip in. And then you've got like a little lip brush on the end if you want to like perfect it. And this one in particular is in the shade Hush Hush. Hush. I also have this one here, which is the same deal, and this is in Dolly Danger. Now, this is from Essence. This is a shine, 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 just a clear lip gloss. It's a really good clear lip, so lip gloss from the drugstore, and it's only like $2.99 or something like that. This is a killer deal. From KKW Beauty, I honestly forgot this was in here, and shame on me because this thing is freaking bomb. This is in Classic Kim, and it is just kind of like a big, you know, like pencil as well. Yeah, this is a really, really good lip pencil. All right, from CoverGirl, this was a free gift. This is the Melting Pout Holographic Lip Color in the shade Bang Bang. I have not used that from Tristique. This is one that I actually do like. This is in the shade Nantucket Nude, and it is a very, very nude color, um, but I do like this one as opposed to that other shade that they gave me. This is from NARS. This is the shade Dulce Vita, and I do love these thicker you know, NARS lip pencils where you can just fill in your whole lip. This is a gorgeous color as well. And then from Bare Minerals, this is the Gin Nude in the shade Darling. All right, from Wet n Wild, this is Bare Your Soul. I have not used this, but let me tell you, Wet n Wild has got some beautiful lip formulas. Burt's Bees also, they have a really good lip formula as well. This is in Blush Basin. I did kind of clip the top of that. Um, at some point, but this is a gorgeous, gorgeous lip color. All right, from LA Girl, this again, this was a free gift. I have not used this, but this is in the shade Nudie, and I really do like this packaging. It has got magnetic packaging at such an affordable price. LA Girl is really, really cheap at the drugstore, so pretty good that they can do the magnetic packaging. Now, from Milani, this is the shade... Bahama Beige, and again, I think this was a free gift at Ulta. So, if you're learning anything here, shop at Ulta on the app because they always have free gifts. All right, from Lancome, this is Red Stiletto. Have not used it. This just does not look like a color that I'm interested in, and again, I think this was in a free gift. I would not have picked that out. All right, and then from Buxom, this is the Vava Plump in the shade Honeydew. So this is like a plumping lip gloss. And here is the shade there. So beautiful. All right, now I'm just gonna pull these out like a tray at a time. And in general, I kind of have these laid out by brand. So first off, we are gonna have a ton of dose of colors. So. I have got this shade here, which is Coral Crush. It's a beautiful shade for the summer. And then I have Brick Gorgeous shade for the fall. All of these are their liquid lipsticks. They used to be so hyped up. I haven't heard anything about them recently, but they are so good. I still love Dose of Colors liquid lipsticks. One of my favorite formulas. This one is Mondays, one of my favorites. This one here is Warm and Fuzzy. I think this one was Unique 
to BoxyCharm, I believe. Then I have Lazy Daisy. This is a beautiful, like, cool toned mauve color. Again, one of my favorites. Bear with me. This is a classic, classic. Love this one. I think I have two of these. Then I have this one, which is in the shade Rosebud, a very cool tone, like lavender shade. Absolutely gorgeous. This one here is Truffle. Now they recently re-released or did like a new release of Truffle. So they came out with like a blush, an eyeshadow palette. It also had a, the Truffle lip gloss, um, which normally I don't think they had Truffle in a lip gloss. It was just this liquid lipstick. And I think they came out with something else. But anyway, I freaking love Truffle. Truffle is one of my all-time favorite liquid lipstick shades ever. Ever, ever, ever. All right, now this one is a gloss. This is just my type. And it's just like a neutral pink shade. Then I have got this one, which is just super glowy. This is Save the Date. And I think I got this one as a free gift or something. I did not pick this color out. Then I have this one, which is Flirty. This is, again, one of the liquid lipsticks. Any in this frosted glass or liquid lipsticks. This one is Stone. Truffle and Stone are my favorites from Dose of Colors, like, by far. But yeah, this is, like, my more cool-toned pick. Then this one is a lip gloss, and this is my favorite lip gloss from um, Dose of Colors. This is Messy Bun. So it is, like, a mauve pink, and it has got, like, purple micro, micro, micro reflex in it. So pretty and so flattering on the lips and this is my favorite like warm toned um gloss from dose of colors and this is in the shade seriously i've used both of those to death now i'm getting into mac so this is a mac lip glass in the shade see-through this one is in purr this is one of my favorites. This one here is in the shade Spice. Again, this is one of my favorites as well. The thing I like about MAC lip gloss, they are thicker, but man, they last on your lips forever. This is Oyster Girl. This one is such a popular shade. Um, and yeah, I really do love this one as well. All right, I'm gonna turn this around. All right, so these are more from like collections from MAC. So these two are from the Selena collection. This is the washing machine. Love this one. It's like an opaly type of a shade. Now this one is a more like bronzy number here. And this is Hey Dad Pizza. All right, these are from the Holiday Collection from 2020, I believe. Um, but this is in Twinsies. Beautiful, you know, uh, cool tone pink shade. And then this one here, I just think is so interesting. Um, this one is in Break the Ice. Beautiful packaging as well on those. Now this one here is Spite. Again, this is one of my favorites from MAC. I just love it so much. This is from the Bronze Collection um, a few years back. This is Out of This Pearl is what this one is called. This is my favorite out of the two that I have, and this is the one... would rather lounge another beautiful shade now these are from the love me liquid lip colors i have two i think this is all i have just these two so this is laissez-faire i also have this in the bullet formula one of my favorite uh mac 
lipsticks ever. And then this one here, this is in the shade Feel Me. So this is more of like a warm tone brown shade. Now we are going to continue on on the MAC train. I'm missing one. I don't know where that one's at. Um, but this is a retro matte liquid lip color. This is in the shade Burnt Spice. Really love this one. This is a Powder Kiss liquid lip color. And this one is in the shade Date Maker. This is so pretty for fall. I love that color. Now from the Selena collection, this one here is Dame Un Beso. And I think that means like, give me a kiss. I believe. And then this one here is, of course, uh, Siempre Selena. I think that means Queen Selena, if I'm right. I don't know. You guys will have to let me know. But this is such a pretty red. I've worn this. This is stunning. All right. I have another MAC lip gloss. This is in Nymphette. Another one of my favorite shades. This is a Dazzle Glass, and this is in Tangerine Tropica. This is another Dazzle Glass, and I just think these are so pretty. This is in Prancin Dancin. And this is from the more recent holiday collection from MAC. This is, a, again, a lip glass. And this is in Frantic Romantic. All right, from ColourPop, these are two. Well, this one is an ultra glossy lip. And this is from the Sailor Moon collection. This is in Moon Tiara. And then this is an ultra blotted lip. I love this formula from ColourPop. Again, this is from Sailor Moon and this is in the shade Bunhead. I love these two even worn together. So pretty. All right, from the ColourPop Villains collection, this one is in Hot Headed. This is from the Hades collection. And then this one here is in My Pet. I think this is from the Maleficent collection, I do believe. All right, from ColourPop and Frozen. This is um, from the Elsa line here. This one is Mythic Journey. Out of the two, I prefer the Elsa one. And then this one is from the Anna collection, and this is in Free Spirit. All right, now we are getting to some of my favorite lip products. These are the ones from Marc Jacobs. I love these so much. So these right here, these are like stick. Yeah, they're hydrating lip gloss sticks. And so you think you're going to open this up and it's going to be a tube, but no, ma'am. It is a lipstick. So these are so freaking glossy. They do have pigment. They are so comfortable on the lips. These are just so freaking good. So this is in Preach. This one here is Uh-huh Honey. This is one of my favorites. My absolute favorite is this one right here. So freaking gorgeous. This is um, One Mauve Time. So pretty. And then this one is really pretty as well, this pink. This one is in Sweet Escape. All right, I'm gonna turn this around. Then here, these are actual lip glosses. So I'm gonna kind of go through these. This one is in the shade Call Me. Now these are insanely pigmented. Like what you see is what you get with these. This one here, I think is beautiful. This one is in the shade Sugar High. This one is Raspberry Beret. I had to get that one because y'all know I love prints. This one here is in the shade Ra Ra. 
This one I think is very interesting. This is a beautiful like topper shade. As you can tell, look at all of those reflex and it is like packed with those reflex, okay? This is in Electric Lights. Another one similar to that is this one here. And I think this one is Silver Surfer. Yeah, Silver Surf. I wore this um, for Halloween and it is absolutely stunning. Love this one. I've actually worn that one more than you would think. <laughs> All right, this one is another one that has got a ton of reflex, but it's a lot more wearable. This is in Pink Paradise. And then this one here is just another absolutely gorgeous shade. It is mauve, but it's got like gold reflex in there, as you can tell. And this one is in the shade Allow Me. Now we are coming up on some shades from Jeffree Star. So I'm going to run through these. These are the Velour Liquid Lipsticks. This one is in the shade Unicorn Blood. This is a highly popular shade, one of his most popular shades actually. Great for fall and winter time. This one here, I absolutely love. This is the shade Family Jewels. This one here is a very nude color. This is in the shade Mannequin, another one of his like most popular shades, I would say. This one is in Soft Sir, pretty like pale pink. Now this one, um, I got this one as like a free gift when I ordered something. This is in the shade Huntington Beach. Now, I would not use this on my lips, but you can use these Velour liquid lipsticks as eyeliners as well. These are eye safe and they will stay down all day. Now, this one here, this one is a birthday suit. Again, another one of my personal favorites. Now, this is from Shane Dawson and Jeffree Star. Um, this one here is in the shade Ryland and I really do like this shade as well. Now, I've got two of the Supreme Glosses. These are a beautiful formula. These remind me of the Marc Jacobs uh, lip glosses. They are very pigmented, feel very good on the lips, last a long time. This one is Cookie Dough Fetish. This one's probably my favorite. And then I also have this one here, which is in the shade Gemini. Again, a gorgeous shade. All right, now I've got some more Jeffree Star uh, these are the gloss formulas. Now, I love the packaging of these. They're so pretty. This one is the shade Legends Only. Beautiful everyday lip gloss. This one here, super reflective. This one is in Wet Peach. Next up, I have got this beautiful pale ballerina pink. This one is in Candy Drip. Then I have got this one here. This one is in the shade Diamond Juice. Next up is this one, which is in Body Count. I got this with the Cremated Collection. And then this one here, I believe I got with the Cremated Collection as well. Maybe not. This is Pretzel Drip. All right, now I've got some from Manny MUA. So these are liquid lipsticks, and I got this with the Magic, or no, sorry, the Moonspell Collection. This one is in Hollow's Eve, beautiful color for the fall, winter. And then this one here is in Zaya. Next up is a lip gloss from Lunar Beauty, and this is in the shade Coven. This one is in Aura. And finally, this one here is in Bitchcraft. These, I think, came out with the Moonspell Volume 2 collection. Let me go ahead and turn these around. All right, next up I have some things from Dominique Cosmetics. So these are two lip glosses here. 
This is from her Lemonade collection. This is the shade Peach Tea. And I cannot read what this one says. It's like strawberry something. All right, these are from like her Latte collection. I freaking love these. I wish she put some different stickers on here because these are very hard to read. Yeah, I cannot, honestly, I can't read what the colors are, but this is from the Latte collection. I love this gloss right here. So freaking pretty. All right, and then from the Berries and Cream collection, I have got these two liquid lipsticks as well. Again, I'm not even going to try to read those names. She needs to do some different stickers. They're like clear stickers, and that's why it's really hard to read what the actual names are. All right, we're getting close now. All right, from Makeup Revolution, this is from the Nightmare Before Christmas collection. These are the glosses from that collection here. I don't think you can get these anymore, but I particularly liked this uh, clear one, actually. Now, from Wet n Wild, I have not tried this yet, but this is my, um, my sign, Libra. And yes, I had to pick it up. <laughs> All right, from Kylie Cosmetics, this is... This is her Velvet Liquid Lipstick, and this is in the shade Bare. Now, her liquid lipsticks are pretty freaking drying. This one here is... Oh, I have two. So, these are different packaging, but these are both in the shade Bare. That's interesting. All right, from Becca. This is in Camellia. This is such a beautiful lip gloss. It really just brings your face to life. This one here is also gorgeous. This is in, this is a glow gloss here in Lilac Geode. All right, then from Huda Beauty, this is a liquid lipstick and this is in the shade Trend Setter, which is just like a camel, like brown color. Honestly, not my favorite. From Buxom, I do love Buxom lip glosses. This is the full on plumping lip cream and this is in the shade Hot Toddy. These don't have very much color but they are such a good formula. Now this is from Iconic London. It smells like licorice so I'm not that much of a fan. This is a plumping lip gloss in the shade Nearly Nude. All right from Stila. Who remembers the Stila Stay All Day Liquid Lipsticks? These, again, is a pretty drying formula, but this is the shade Carmelo, and I do love this shade. All right, from Anastasia. This is, again, a liquid lipstick. I got this in a BoxyCharm box, I think. This is the shade Trust Issues. It's just not really a shade I would normally, like, pick out and buy. That's how I know that I got that in a box. Now, this is the ColourPop Ultra Glossy Lip. Love this formula. And this is in the shade Pretty In. Love, love, love that one. All right, from Physicians Formula. This is a healthy liquid lip. Um, this is actually a really good formula, and this is an all-natural nude. All right, from Ofra, this is, again, a liquid lipstick. This is in the shade Story. This came in a Samantha March collaboration. Love her. Love that color. From Olimar Cosmetics, I have got this gloss here. It's a really nice formula. Love this packaging as well. And this is the Mother of Pearl gloss. All right, now I've got from Dose of Colors, the Desi and Katie collection. This is a gloss here, and this is over the top. Really popular gloss, love it. Then I've got one of their liquid lipsticks. This is in My Main. And then this one here is in A Mauve Story. These are obviously not the colors of the liquid lipsticks. You can't see through those. Um, from Honest Beauty, I really love this liquid lipstick. This is Off Duty Liquid Lipstick, and you can use this as a blush as well. So just FYI, very pretty. 
from KKW Beauty. This is Birthstone. Fun fact, me and uh, Kim Kardashian share the same birthday. So when she came out with her birthday collection, obviously I had to get it. And then I got this as well. This is in the shade Classic Kim. All right, from NARS, I've got three of their Power Matte Lip Pigments. This is in the shade Give It Up. This one is in London Calling. And then finally, this one is in the shade Call Me. All right, from the Pure and Barbie collection, this is the shade Girl Gloss. I love this because look at it. So I'm going to press it and it just shoots down. I don't know. I think it's such a fun little packaging situation. From Flower Beauty, this is the... Um, Pop Fanatic Vinyl Lip Color in the shade End. This is from Flower Beauty as well. So it's a lipstick on one end and a gloss on the other. I really like this one. This is in the shade Honey Nude. This is a Galaxy Glaze Holographic Lip Gloss from Flower Beauty. And this is in the shade Soleil. This is a really pretty shade as well. From Milani, I have not opened this one. This is the Amore Shine, and this is in the shade Crush, number 03. This is a beautiful shade. All right, from Violet Voss, this is a lip gloss in the shade Delight. This is a really pretty lip gloss. I have worn this before. All right, from Ciate London, this is a liquid velvet lipstick. When this is in the shade Pin Up. From Lorac, I love Lorac lip glosses, by the way. This is the shade Muse, absolutely gorgeous. All right, from Zoeva, this is another liquid lipstick and this is in the shade All Is Calm. All right, from Laura Lee, Los Angeles, these are two liquid lipsticks. This is the shade Show Off here. And the more pale one is the shade Skimpy. Two of my favorite lip products ever come from Persona. This is the shade Flamingo. These are lip glosses. And then this one is in the shade Honey. Such a good formula. Now this came in a like ipsy bag, I think. This is the Cest Moy. Reflect Lip Gloss in Opulence, and I have used this. It's okay. Um, definitely not something I like went out and bought. This is from Hip, Hip Dot and Kesha Rose. This is like a pH changing lip gloss to like your perfect like pinkish red shade. Really, really like this. These are from the Wet n Wild Saved by the Bell collection. I actually thought these were really fun. These are lip glosses. So this is in the shade Lisa, and this one is in Jessie. All right, from Lime Crime, this is a plushy lipstick. This is in Melon Smoothie. Then from Melt Cosmetics, this is Deviant. I have not tried this. I want to try this with a melt palette just because I think it would be a super grungy, like cool moment. All right, and then from Jaclyn Cosmetics, I have two of her liquid lipsticks. This is the shade Truth, which is my favorite. And then the more brown of the two is I'm a Cancer. Alright, I'm going to put all of this up and then I'll get you guys some like final numbers. So I have Alright, so I have everything put back away, kind of rearranged a little bit. Um, but I do have some totals for you guys. As I mentioned, the majority of this stuff on this shelf was lip products, and I just I could not swatch everything. We would be here forever. Okay, so totals. There are 152 lip products. There is one primer, 
There's two highlighters, 13 blushes, 15 mascaras slash lash serums. There are three face palettes, three foundations, three bronzers, three setting powders, two eyeshadow palettes, two concealers, one eyeshadow single, one pair of lashes, and one eyebrow product. I did not count this little sponge because like I said, I'm giving that away to my daughter, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. I think I'm getting down to the very last parts of my collection, so um, there will not be very many more coming. But I hope you guys enjoyed. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Subscribe if you haven't. And I will catch you on the next one. Bye, guys.